Tasmania's 45th Premier and the state's longest serving Liberal leader, Will Hodgman, bows out. I'm today announcing uh, that I'll be resigning as a member of our state's parliament, uh, the leader of the Liberal Party and as Premier of Tasmania. The popular Premier's shock departure taking Tasmania by surprise. Cabinet told of his decision just hours before a snap press conference. As we approach the halfway mark with two more years of this term of government, um, I believe that now is the right time for me to allow for new leadership. Will Hodgman was born into a political dynasty. His father, grandfather and uncle were all parliamentarians. But ultimately it was his family which drove his decision to step away. It's undeniable that it's had an impact on my family and I want to thank them for their amazing support for the 17 and a half years that I have been a member of parliament, our children's whole lives. A former barrister, Hodgman entered Parliament aged 33, elected to the seat of Franklin in 2002, where he was catapulted into the party's deputy leadership. In 2006, he became Liberal leader, eventually pulling the party from opposition to a landslide election victory in 2014. Tasmanians have delivered a majority government for Tasmania. Before backing it up with an historic win in 2018. Will Hodgman and his team got over 51 per cent of the primary vote at the last state election and so were hugely popular. Prime Minister Scott Morrison praised Mr Hodgman as a Liberal legend whose leadership has engineered the state's remarkable turnaround. Tasmania's Labor leader paid tribute to the Premier's passion while the Greens leader pointed to his undeniable popularity. Will Hodgman had only just told media last month that he was here to stay. Now a sudden exit and the Liberals won't meet until next week to pick his replacement. There's already expectations of a broad lineup. Deputy Premier Jeremy Rockliffe a likely contender, as is Treasurer Peter Gutwin. Embattled former Health Minister Michael Ferguson tipped to put his hand up. The Attorney General Elise Archer's name also emerging. I'm sure um, they'll make up their, their own minds in, in due course and um, uh, I've got every confidence they'll make the right call. Andrea Crothers, Sky News.